Hi everyone, welcome to this weekly show. I'm Tony. I'm Winnie. So at the very beginning, let's see who would be the lucky guy for last week's video. Let's get started. Um, three, two, one. Ta da! Okay, so congratulations. We will contact you through our YouTube account. So let's get started. Cool. Let's see what we have today. Okay. As we can see, here is an IPMI trip here. Uh, IPMI means Intelligent Platform Management Interface, uh, which is an industry standard used to manage the peripheral device using enterprise system based on Intel architecture. Uh, user can use IPMI to monitor the physical health characteristic of the server, such as temperature, voltage, fan working status and power status and even uh, get the full control of the entire system uh, okay let's move to the SAS connector here uh, SAS means serious attached SCSI uh, we can use um, like a, a data cable to connect up to four SATA hard desk at the same time uh, interesting so are we selling this? no we didn't uh, it's just because it was so cool and I got this big toy from Bruce, one of our engineers. Okay. Okay, let's move to this product. Okay, so it's an ultrasonic sensor. So what's the difference between our growth ultrasonic sensor to other, other products in the market? Well, I did some work. So there are three main highlights. The mm -hmm. first would be the high uh, measure, measurement range it can detect from 3 cm to 3.5 meter. Mm -hmm. The second would be that we only use one pin for uh, transmitting and uh, receiving the signals and we save another pin for other sensors. And uh, the third point would be that our ultrasonic sensor it can support uh, 5 watt and uh, the 3.3 watt together. So it means, uh, well, there are lots of uh, ultrasonic sensing in the market. I mean, the normal one. Mm -hmm. They only support five voltage. Is that right? Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, so it means that if they want to use this uh, sensor together with other products which only supports three point three voltage, it means they they gonna need another like a voltage converter. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, but our module would, would kind of like already embedded the the um, voltage. Uh, yeah, something like that on our board. So it means that we can just directly use the, ultra, the I mean, this ultrasonic sensor mm -hmm. together with other uh, products, which only supports 3.3 .3 voltage. Yeah, and um, our growth mo growth ultrasonic sensor is um, is a rare ultrasonic sensor on the market that can work stably at the voltage of 3.3 .3 volt. Okay, let me show you these demos. Whoa, this cat is so cool. So it has a RGB LED inside of the prop. Yes, uh, the LED can be used as an indicator and it makes it look really like a robot eyes. Yeah, cool. So cool. Dun. Next, we're gonna show a demo for biometric sensor. Um, okay. This one is BME2AO and this, uh, this one is our new product, DPS3.0. Um, like the data upper is from the DPS3.0 and okay. the below one is from BME2AO. Uh -huh. uh, like the DPS3.0 is very high accuracy sensor, so even when we move this sensor to um, higher attitudes, the data will change, uh, but the old one cannot. Okay, cool. Well, one second, you know, I always want to try one thing mm -hmm. because I saw lots of people in China when they do the promotion, the product promotion videos, they will do oh. this gesture, so I just want to try it. So you're saying that when I uh, wonder uh, uh, distance, I mean the height change, yeah. the data will change, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So let me try it. Is it change? Yeah. I think it was change. Yes. Yes. Cool. Do you know what it is? Yes, it's a uh, lighter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, as I know that the standard the normal lighter in the market only supports for single point mm -hmm. uh, ranging but the RP lighter it's you know it has a spinning head so it has a 360 degree 
and 2D mapping. So the, the standard, the normal LiDAR, it can only be used for distance measurements, but the RP LiDAR, it can be used for environmental mapping, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, like it can be used for autopilot. Um, as you say, the RP LiDAR is main for uh, environment mapping, mm -hmm. but it actually has some uh, different usage, like for example, when we rotate it in 90 degrees, mm -hmm. it can detect the uh, above object, like my hand here, data is changed. Uh, so it can be used for high voltage cable uh, petrol. Uh -huh. mm, as we all know, the outer surface of the high voltage cable is insulated. So if there are something on the cable, there will, be, there will have uh, safety problems. So it needs to be checked regularly. Uh, previously, this job was done by humans and it requires the workers to climb the mountains and yeah. electrical wiring pallets. So it is very hard and time consuming. Now it can be done by drone and IP LiDAR and it is just one of the applications. Mm -hmm. Well, that is so cool. So I think this kind of like technologies can really improve our life. Yeah. So that's all for today and uh, thank you for your time. Um, if you liked the video, please press the like button and uh, subscribe us. So see you guys next week. See you next week.